thought I'd do a video on ethical monetization because I did another video about Diablo Immortal when it was first announced saying, hey, everyone calm the F down. It's just a mobile game. Get over it. Well, it turns out that they monetized it in a fashion that I don't necessarily agree with. And as a result, I thought I would go over what is ethical monetization uh, a little bit more. Basically comes down to three basic checks if you make the checks then it's considered ethical for the most part and if you don't well it's not very ethical so the first check mark that i look for when we are ethically monetizing things is is it easy to understand do you understand the value of what you are buying do you understand how much money you are spending at any given moment and in the case of diablo immortal it's a big fat no <laughs> They do the currency exchange where you buy the orbs and then the orbs are used to purchase other things and they have the values separated from each other so you're not quite sure how much is a dollar. You know, $4.99 equals $300 plus $15. <laughs> it's, and then they do the other part of that, which is another monetization trick where uh, you always end up with a little bit left over in terms of orbs, thus getting you to spend money again. These are psychological principles used in mo mobile monetization, and they've been there for at least a decade that I can think of, and I've helped games monetize in this fashion when I've been asked to, even though I disagree with it as a model. The reason that I disagree with it as a model is simply because if I'm making a purchase, I want to understand what money I'm spending so that if I am doing something that I can't afford, I can decide not to do it. And in the case of this style of monetization where they have multiple types of currencies and they all do different things, you're gonna get lost at some point unless you're paying very close attention and that's exactly where they get you. You're not paying close attention and all of a sudden you're hundreds of dollars in. The second ethical check is, does the player have agency? Can they choose not to monetize? In the case of Diablo Immortal, I give it a half point. If you don't want to monetize for the single player, you don't have to. It is something that you can play all the way through without monetizing at all. For the PvP though, you will get stomped so freaking hard that it's pointless. And if you ever want to group with people, you basically have to monetize at some point because once you get to the higher levels of stuff, if you are not very high resonance, they're just not gonna, they're, you're not getting in the party. There's no way. They get a half point because you can play and enjoy the PVE all the way through, but if you are a PVP player, this is a pay to win game, which is unethical in, in another respect, but it's part of the player agency check, which is that, can I choose not to monetize if you are a PVP player? No because you will just get stomped all day long. There is no real catch-up mechanic or way to get into the PvP element without spending money, at least in a reasonable amount of time. And lastly, is it exploitative? <laughs> That's the third check. And in the case of Diablo Immortal, guess what? Yes, it is. Um, I looked at an article by Rock Paper Shotgun and they estimated the upper values around 50,000 USD to sort of max out a character. Which, you know, you don't have to max out your character, but if you want to compete in PvP again, guess what? You're going to max out your character, thus the game is monetized for whales, particularly PvP whales who want to stomp on people. And they can purchase that power and go stomping all they want. If you are in an arms race between two whales, you know, that's, that's what they want. And then those two whales are competing and they get up to the 50,000 mark each. Out of three points of ethics, <laughs> Diablo Immortal has half a point. My recommendation is if you are uh, an addict of gambling or if you have an addictive personality of any type, not to play Diablo Immortal because it is quite likely that you will be drawn into the monetization system. And once you're in the monetization system, they open the window to exploit the living shit out of you. And then you don't know where your money went. And that is dangerous. So uh, do not spend any money in this game unless you can do so reasonably and want to. I personally don't. I'm playing a no pay playthrough because that's typically what I do when a, when a free to play game comes out. And I've gotten all the way to level 47 playing over the past couple days. The PVE, perfectly normal, fine. Um, the PVP, not possible for me, <laughs> which is fine. So I hope that provided some insight into Diablo Immortal's unethical monetization. Um, hopefully, 
the mobile side of Blizzard stays away from the PC side of Blizzard because there is a very good chance now that they've made $14 million in the first week that a lot of these monetization practices will slip into the PC side of things and um, it's going to be very hard to argue against doing that uh, internally. I would advise Blizzard to divide their studio in two uh, into a hardcore PC side and a mobile side that is a separate division of Blizzard that only does that and rebrand it as something like Blizzard Mobile and just keep them separate. Otherwise, they are going to destroy their player base on one side or the other or both. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. And if I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.